see what it's like. But they usually just watch like more of the time. The one where she can play a little bit. Oh, okay. When I turned 30, my Jewish friends put me in a chair. Hey, can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Let's go on. How are, you, how are you feeling right now? Is it cool to be a part of this? Yeah. I guess I'm just being my usual powerfully shy self waiting to see what happens as far as conversation goes, but I am glad to be here. You got an email? Yeah, this very kind of mysterious email. wasn't sure if it was legit at first, but I did some research, talked to some people, and it was it was, it was was for real. Yeah. Do you know what award you might get? Oh, yeah. Most awkward, maybe. I feel like that's my defining characteristic, really. But um, I accept it, you know. And I um, mean, I guess I'm preparing. Well, well, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you a couple questions? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I got an email, and you know, I've heard about this sort of thing before. I was also sort of nervous that you know it was going to be something scary, but everything looks fine to me now. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So what's your background? Like, why do you think you would have won an award, maybe, if you could guess? Oh, jeez. For making it through the year? Yeah? Maybe. Or something terrible. Oh, gosh. Like, like what? Did you kill somebody? or? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I have dreams where I kill people. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's... Maybe this is all a nightmare. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Here, speak up a little and say that one more time. Okay. Maybe it's a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna. All right. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Cool. You just got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your name? Mike. Cool. And and you found out about this how? I got an email. Cool. From somebody named Oscar. Uh, do you have any idea who Oscar I have is? No idea who Oscar is. Cool. I have no idea why I got an email. I have no idea what I'm getting an award for. Do you think there's anything you might have done that could have deserved an award? No. Yeah. But curiosity got the better of me, so here I am. Exciting. Well, are you excited? A little bit. Yeah? Cool. A little nervous, too. Okay. I hope I'm not being set up in some kind of strange murder uh, You know, game. me too. Because I had, I, just like you guys, I also um, only received an email saying to cover this event. So I don't know who he is either. I don't know, I don't know any more than you do. How's it going? Yeah. How's it going? Can I ask you a couple questions? Oh. Sure. I'd heard about this type of like Oscar party before, but you know, I didn't know. Um, I didn't actually know if it was real or just kind of like a myth or something. Who do you think Oscar is? Do you think it's even a person? Uh, have you ever read And Then There Were None? I think maybe it'll be something like that. Maybe the Agatha Christie? Yeah, maybe we all committed a crime or something that we couldn't get punished for and we're each going to be killed tonight when someone announces an award. That's what I suspect. Were you familiar with Oscar parties? And Oscar? I mean, I'd heard about them in the past, but I just never got the email until now. Do you know of anything you did in the last year that you think you might be up for? Or? Oh, totally. There's been a few things that I got in my back pocket, and I'm, I'm hoping that I was recognized for it. I got a message. I got a very cryptic message to come here. So you don't even know who this guy is or anything? No. And I honestly don't care. I'm, I'm honestly very uh, excited to win something in anything. But yeah. I don't know what that would be. So... I don't know. I guess we'll find out. How do you feel about all this? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. A little bit nervous, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels very much like a mystery right now, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like I don't know if it's, if it's a, a man. It could be a woman. I don't know if they're here. It's just very. <laughs> there's so few details. <laughs> That's a very good point. I've thought about, wondered if it could be a woman myself. Yeah. Like maybe it's like a pseudonym or something. Yeah, I feel like it would throw everyone off the scent. Yeah, so, right? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to move on to some other people, but I appreciate your time. Um, I hope you have a lovely time at Oscars. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you can't really just ask about it, you know, it's like, it's really kind of underground and so, all, all you, I mean, all I've done is like heard about it, you know. I imagine, you know, it's like 6'4", I imagine with like Six, four. yeah, like black hair. You know, kind of like a Benicio del Toro. I think he might be Oscar. I think Benicio del Toro might be Oscar. I yeah, I hope. Uh, I'm expecting him now to come out. 
at any time. I got a random email. I thought it was a joke, uh, but I've heard about Oscar's parties before. I only thought it was a rumor, so I kind of, I guess I took a chance. I thought it was exciting. Um, and now I'm here, and I feel kind of honored to have been invited, so I'm glad I dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this cool and thoughtful to organize something like that? It can only be a woman because women know that a lot of people can be just not appreciated enough. So she organized this thing to, uh, to, just, to just show people that they matter. Women are really the most thoughtful creatures. What kind of movies do you make? Uh, I like comedy stuff. So, can I interrupt you and you just tell me, like, who you are? And Well, you just said that who you are, kind of, but I mean, what's your name and... My name is Adam, and I got an email. I already, uh, the other guy asked me, and I already told him all about that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Are you guys getting an award or something? Or? I don't know. They didn't, he didn't really say. Uh, it was kind of vague. But yeah, my email kinda, was very vague too. We kind of had to sign an NDA saying not to talk about it and stuff, and we're just kind of like, okay, well, I mean. But you're filming though. Yeah, exactly, but it's for him, you know? Right. Yeah. So it's like, what's he gonna do Are with it? Are you gonna it? release this then? I don't know. I, I don't, maybe he'll do something with it? I don't even, I don't even know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like every time I do something good, like, I never <laughs> imagine that someone is watching me. I'm actually kind of new to, like, New York City, so I don't know if this is, like, a city thing. How do you feel right now? Um, I get excited. I, I don't know. Uh, I love doing, like, these spontaneous kind of things. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Hey, um, can I ask you a couple questions? Hi. Hey. So how did you how did you hear about this? You got an email or anything? Yeah, I got an email, and it just seems a little bit weird because I just, just thought about wearing something formal, but then I just started wearing jeans because I just do not know what to think if it's gonna be something uh, for filming something else but yeah thanks for talking no problem do you know how people are found or that's a mystery too hmm? do you know like how the people are found or that's a mystery I, it's kind of like a Santa Claus type thing like nobody yeah. knows how he finds people finds out what they're doing it could be anything probably saved an animal on a street okay. I'm always trying to do that well congratulations thank you I have to say it must be someone in my circle he must follow me in some way like he must keep up with my Instagram or he must like know someone who's keeping tabs on me. Um, I think it's all in good fun though. I don't like I know it sounds it's, not, it's creepy, right? But it but I believe I do believe it's for it's for good. I mean, this is a nice thing to have. Like hold a party to like give people awards. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think he's probably maybe an old teacher of mine or like, I don't know, someone, I think, want, like a friend's friend of some sort. I really have no idea. I'm a little bit nervous about finding out what I won. It's creepy that someone's been watching for so long. Like, I don't know, is this something that I did in public? Is it something that's out there on social media? Or is it something private? I don't know. What's your name? Ian. Cool, and like, um, how do you feel about all this? Okay. I'm really not sure. I mean, I am intrigued by the just the mysterious nature of this. I mean, a random email, a person who may or may not exist, Oscar. I mean, kind of like a... I feel like he's just watching people. It's like Santa Claus almost. He knows... He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. It's just... Yeah. Awesome. This, nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Are you excited? Like, I'm, I'm very excited. Cool. Yeah, uh, Oscar's parties are legendary. So you heard of them before. Did you ever expect that you would be chosen for this? I kind of did. I travel in a lot of the underground art scenes. Oh, okay. So I've been to some Oscar adjacent events before. Where, Oscar adjacent, you say? Yeah, exactly. The the artist community is is very large, and there's a lot of people that know a lot of other people. You know, like most secrets, they're kind of a lot more out in the open than you would expect. Hi. Hi. What's up? Um, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. So. Uh, are you a fan of Oscar parties? Have you been following that kind of thing? Or? I've literally never. I'm excited, and um, I'm also excited to see like 
all the awards and stuff. I, I feel like I have done a lot, but it's a bunch of little things that I probably like downplay and I forget about. So I'm, I'm not even going to try to guess because I want it to be a full surprise. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, if I did, I would be able to Hi, um, could I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got a message to come here. <laughs> Did you think it was real? I did think it was real at first. A couple of my friends tried to convince me that it was fake, but I figured I'd show up just to see, and I'm okay. honestly and glad I did. Now do you think it's real? I do think it's real. Who do you think Oscar might be? Someone with too much money and time. What do you think you might have won? Most likely to show up to an invitation with no knowledge of what's to come. <laughs> you could, yeah, that, could, yeah. that sounds like you. But I congratulations. I can't wait to see what you won. Thank you. Yeah, same. Do you think it's real now? I mean, this is real, whatever it is. What do you think you might have won? Uh, I have. I really don't know. Um, I hope it's good, a good thing. I changed the headlight in my car. That was a big thing for you me. You did a good too. job at that? Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, absolutely. So, how did you hear about this? You got an email? Or... Um, yeah, Oscar reached out I, through one of his representatives, actually, um, that I'm acquainted with, and got a invitation uh, that way. Who do you think Oscar is? Well, I, like I said, I have an acquaintance who might know who Oscar is. Um, what I told Chloe is that the best disguises are often the ones where you're hiding in plain sight. Do so you think it could be somebody here today? It could be, but, you know, maybe Oscar's style is kind of just to throw the event and then not even attend. Um, maybe he's got some kind of secret camera system that he's recording the whole thing from above. Okay. You know? So, what's up? You just got here? I just got here. I'm admiring the fine murals on the wall. Yeah? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I didn't even this notice isn't that. every day you see something like this. We got this over here. We got this one over here. This one over here is deteriorating a little bit, which is a big thing. It's a shame. It's a shame for me to see that kind of thing. He's outdone himself this year. Oscar, he's, the place is just... Have you ever been to Oscars before? Once or twice, yeah. Really? You've been picked before? I've been picked before. Oh I know what gosh. to expect, but uh, you shouldn't be speaking about this kind of thing. Like, I'm sure multiple people here have been before, but... Really? Oh, secrecy. I recognize a few faces. There's some new people, obviously. But uh, here we are. You know, it's my second time. What are your theories? Like, do you, kn do you know who he is? Like, what's the deal? I, I don't ask those kind of questions. You know, I, I know I've been around long enough to know you don't ask that kind of thing. Do you mind telling us what kind of business you do or what kind of hobbies? All kind of business. Yeah, I'm a business man. You know, oh, yeah. If there's business to be had, money to be exchanged, I'm there for it. Uh, otherwise, I'm an artist. Nice to meet you. Hey, could I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, of course. Full disclosure, I probably shouldn't be saying this. This is my second time being here. Second annual time being here. You've actually won an Oscar before. I have, yeah. It was a bit of an environmentalist kind of project. I constructed a pyramid out of 72 beer cans in uh, my neighborhood's green space. Do you know who Oscar might be? Do you have any suspicions? I don't have a fucking clue between you and I. I've actually tried getting in touch with them both times around, you know, I get these cryptic sort of emails, but uh, at this point I've sort of resigned myself to accepting that he's just the eye in the sky looking down on all of us, and uh, I gotta be cool with that, because God knows I'm not gonna hear shit if I respond to him again. The amount of shit I've accomplished in the past 12 months is, is kind of extraordinary, so I wouldn't be surprised to win something like that. Uh, something big this year. Something big. Hey man, how are you? All right, how are you? Oh, it looks like the show's starting. Oh. Oh. Uh, so we're gonna. Oh yeah. All right. We're gonna give the award for best apology. All right. Gina. Come on up, Gina. Gina. Gina's not here. She's apologizing. Yeah, sorry. She's, yeah, she's probably sorry. Uh, should I? All right. Does someone else want to come up and do the next one? I'll go down. I think she's sorry that she can't come here.
right, cool. Hi everyone. Hey. Hey. Uh, nope. All right, second one up. This is for the best hug. <laughs> and the award goes to, oh shit. It goes to me. Oh! Uh, I just like to, I like to thank my parents for showing me how. <laughs> And who always told me that they loved me, even when I like, came home covered in mud and my pants were broken and everything. But this is to all the good people out there who deserve hugs themselves. So right. thank you, everyone. It was an incredible hug, ladies and gentlemen. OK, the next one up is for best handwriting. Let's take a look here. Ashley, you've done it. You've done it. Ashley, congratulations, everybody. The best handwriting out of anybody here. Thank you. <laughs> Can I just pick one of these? Woo! Um, handwriting, right? Handwriting. Handwriting. Okay. Um, well, I have to thank my mom because she got me a calligraphy set this Christmas. Oh, thank you. Um, and I've been practicing and giving out uh, cards, birthday cards, Christmas cards, and all the things. Um, just, you know, showing off my new handwriting, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. And um, so I have to thank my mom for that. Thank you, Mom. Oh, this is a sweet one. Yay, um, little bulldogs. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I was like, sure, okay. Um, this, this one is for best laugh, which you all have. <laughs> Jim. Is it anyone? Jim? No, Jim. Ch Jim. Chime. Chime? Chime? Obviously, he's not here because he would know. Um, but great, great laugh. C H A I M. Oh, <laughs> um, so he's not, he's not here, he's probably... Um, um yes. Yeah. All right. Best smile. Who's got the best smile here? You all have great smiles. And the winner is Savannah. Come get your award. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really, really uh, uh, appreciate this. You know who doesn't? My orthodontist, who I've had since 2005, didn't wear my retainers for three years, got Invisalign, didn't wear those either. So, joke's on you, Patricia Paterno of Mount Laurel, New Jersey. I still got Best Smile, and you've still got $1,000. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Not succeeding and succeeding. Okay, perfect. Um, I guess I'll read the next one. Okay, best Halloween costume. That's, that's a lot. Um, Jason, you crushed it. Halloween costume. Well, um, uh, a few years ago I was dressed up as a ghost and I do not know, it kind of spooky, but I think of something like maybe I should just dress up as something to just be part of like the Sesame Street crew or something <laughs> because, uh, because I thought Oscar is a grouch and living in a garbage can or something. So I just like to, um, 
see him if he's uh, around here somewhere or anywhere. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> The award is for best cat sitting. And the award goes to Emily. Yeah, I cat sit. So. <laughs> um, I'll do this one. <laughs> best spaghetti sauce. Ooh. You ready? Ian. Congratulations. Oh, this is an honor. I, I only cook spaghetti. It was a, it was inevitable that I was inev I was gonna figure out that was, that was my special thing. So thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> let's see, let's keep the show going. Best pep talk. And the award goes to Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Oh, wow. Honestly, I would give myself this award even if nobody voted because I know I give the best pep talks. Okay? All my friends say I give the best advice. And I, I think my 2019 moment where I read a lot of self-help and self-development books and became a manifester and law of attraction person. So I would say I'm great at that. And thank you. Yeah. And I will give you guys pep talks as well. Woo! Oh, wow. OK, this is a fun one. Best catching of a subway. Oh. All right. Oh. Wow. Goes to Mike. Yay! Congratulations, Mike. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, it's a wonder anybody takes the subway these days, but... Um, yeah, thanks a lot. I thought I was a shoe in for best smile, but, you know, I'll take the subway one. Um, all right, I guess I'll pick another, I guess. I'm glad you're having a great time. I'm not convinced we're all getting out of here alive, but... Um, so, best. this is for best jaywalk. And the award goes to... John. Thank you. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I have stage fright. Um, you look great. Thank you. Well, I want to thank Oscar. Um, I want to thank my fearless attitude <laughs> when crossing the street and knowing that um, I probably won't make it if I take those extra seconds to go to the crosswalk. <laughs> and uh, really, that's it. Thank you to um, this guy right here. You're welcome. What's your name? Adam. Thank you to Adam. And uh, a lot of people ask me what I would do if I didn't win this award tonight. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Best babysitter. And the award goes to Alexa. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. I mean, I probably should have guessed that I would win this award. I've been babysitting since I was 12. So I guess I'll thank all the kids that I babysat, Brennan and Christian and Julia and Emily and Joshua. I really appreciate it. Um, if anybody has any kids and you want to send me a little money, I'll take care of them, make sure they're okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, 
it's sunny day for the next uh, award for, oh my gosh, um, best penis. <laughs> oh. I know it's me. <laughs> All right. The best penis goes to, oh my gosh, <clears throat> Jack. I expected this all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see it! Woo! I can't say that I'm surprised, everybody. <laughs> and uh, I want to take this as an opportunity to tell every fucking math teacher I've ever had in my entire life to go fuck themselves. <laughs> Who's the one with the trophy now, you sons of bitches? <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Hello. All right. Best peach cobbler. Can we get a drum roll, please? Stop. Avivit, please come up and accept your award right this way. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, oh, man, I have so many people to thank. Um, I want to thank Oscar. Oscar? Oscar. Okay. All right. I want to thank Oscar uh, for bringing me here. I think, uh, you know, it's so thoughtful of you to, uh, to just look after me throughout, through the window, you know, because um, uh, obviously you go into my house and, and, uh, taste my peach cobbler when I'm not there. Um, thank you for uh, being a creeper and, uh, and uh, yeah. Okay, the next award is Best Handshake. And the winner is Walter. Ooh. Ooh. Walter. Walter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my agent um, at CSA, and um, I'd like to thank my trainer who has been helping me improve my handshake. I've always generally had a weak handshake, but we've really worked on it this year, and I'm glad, you know, in a whole year full of meetings that people really noticed. People have been telling me that I've got a great, great handshake. So. Um, yeah, I'd just love to thank my mom, uh, my dad, really my whole family, and uh, Harvey Weinstein. So, <laughs> to keep the process going, I'm going to open the award for the best vagina. Um, I know there's a lot of competition for this one. So without further ado, uh, the award goes to Anna. Oh my god, yeah. Congratulations on your, you. your wonderful, yeah. fantastic vagina. Well deserved. Thank you. I, um, I also uh, can't say I'm surprised. I uh, totally expected this. I want to thank Mama Gina. I want to thank Oscar for knowing that I've been doing pussy work for many years, setting pussies free all over the world and empowering women to live life through their pleasure and not complaining and all sorts of nonsense. So damn the patriarchal world culture and set your pussies free, ladies, and walk around the earth feeling wet and juicy and delicious. And I love you all. And thank you, Oscar, for knowing that about me. And I'm gonna be thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna be greedy and do the next one again. Best Skateboard Ollie. That one's cool. Okay. Jared! Yes! <laughs> Trophies for the people who need admiration from those who they don't know to... You know what? <sighs> 
You don't understand how much this means to me. I'm an old skater. I don't have much. But what I do have is the ability to jump with a piece of wood in between my legs. And the fact that you guys all noticed it, that's why I do it. So thank you. You can do a barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. Nobody's going. Somebody's got to go. All right. Oh, that's a very meaningful one, people. So I'd like to present to you the best breath. Ooh, Ooh. Piper! Thank you. OK, this actually does mean a lot. And I know people have said that because I have no sense of smell. So I'm like paranoid that my breast stinks, that I stink all the time. And I'm like, I tell my friends, I'm like, you have to tell me if I stink. But here's the trick, right? Here's the hack. Don't use regular Denafloss. Use the plastic picks because they're fun and then you'll actually do it. And then you can throw them away every night so it's not disgusting and your fingers don't get like suffocated by the, t by the floss. So yes, thank you. <laughs> You know, it's probably best for you to be careful where you stick your nose, okay? This award goes to, well, it's for the best parallel parking. The award goes to Emmanuel. Uh, my friend, uh, Emmanuel, couldn't make it tonight. I'll be accepting the award on his behalf, okay. um, and I'll go ahead and read the next uh, one as well. Okay. Uh, we went out last night to the basement, so... Uh, yeah, he's car, huh? Yeah, well, actually, he doesn't drive, so, <laughs> but that's why he won the award for the parallel parking. Uh, the next award is going to be for best kiss, um, and that one goes to Ziza. Yeah, apparently she's just too busy kissing people, and she couldn't make the award show either. So we'll just um, we'll just go on to the next one until we find a winner. Uh, the best urinal etiquette etiquette um, that is, you know, people that the person who is the best at keeping the urinal clean. So I think this would be an aim um, award, and the the best urinal etiquette goes to Adam. Congratulations on your aim, Adam. Thank you. I, uh, it's safe to say I've earned this. I, um, <laughs> years of hard work, really, I can go from very far away. Propulsion, <laughs> I have, I can change viscosity if I need to. Wow. All right, awesome. on next, the next one. Nice. Best shower song, or best shower singing. Julia. Thank you. Um, this is this is just an honor that someone's listening when I sing in the shower. Um, my roommates hate me for it, um, so it means a lot that Oscar recognizes this and and thinks it's it's deserving of an award. And I agree, Oscar, wherever you are. It's also kind of creepy that someone's <laughs> listening. To him. I am not. <laughs> That's exactly what Oscar I saw it in his eyes, is mine. Okay. All right. Um, but, okay, so the, the last award is Best Documentarian. So let's, let's see. This goes to... Oh. Cody and Chloe. What a... What a <laughs> you guys like to 
received your award. Yeah. Thank you. What do we do? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we just accept them, right? Okay. I mean, I didn't expect to say. I mean, it was honestly, it was a treat. Just like, oh yeah, kiss. Should we kiss? kiss. We should. Kiss. All right. Yeah. Kiss. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> other uh and without oscar whoever he yeah. may be and without all of you yeah i guess that's a last award so <laughs> yeah, on top. yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. i guess it's like we'll do like a post show or guess i think that's what we're supposed to do now so yeah, you guys I, can I, mingle and we'll talk to you about your awards that you won Gina's here now. Oh, Gina's yes. here now. Oh. Gina won an award. Wait, yeah. let's find Gina's award. <laughs> okay, you can go back out there. Uh, oh. the Oscar said it was for best apology. there. Trying, trying. Where did it go? Somebody... Oh. oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Are you... I bet you're wondering who got best apology. Yeah. I'm wondering too. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Gina. Uh, this is incredibly meaningful, but um, again, so sorry. Um, to Oscar and to you and you and you and you and you and you. And um, I'd like to thank probably everyone in my immediate family, um, also pets, also, um, I, I'm really nervous because I, I do have like a lot of guilt in general, but um, uh, this might make up for it. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so now I guess it's the post show. You guys can just kind of mingle and we'll talk to you about the awards you won. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. Jazz, especially. It's like nice one. Fair. Wait, how is it? Best skateboard, Ollie. I'm about to do a uh, backside 180 over the rail. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that's an Ollie, but you do a 180. Well, not as cool as this. I do a What's your favorite poster? Yeah. That's a good one. That was pretty good. Hey, do you have a, can we see your Ollie if you have an Ollie? <laughs> yeah, Ollie off of uh, the stairs okay. from different angles. Oh, and this is a tray flip, 360 kick flip. So. Wow. Yeah, you can't do any better than that, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess you could say I do deserve this award. So, yeah, glad that uh, Oscar finally took notice of me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use that to come up to every single person I meet and uh, try to sweep them off their feet with my award. So is Oscars everything you thought it would be? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. What about you? I mean, I wasn't expected expecting to win Best Documentarian, but I'm pleased, and it, I guess it, I should have expected it because you're the documentarian. Yeah, um, but I'm having a good time, and everyone's very nice, and I, it seems like. I'm, I'm starting to think he's a benevolent character and not so uh, ominous because all of those awards were pretty pleasant. Yeah. So it doesn't seem pleasant. Yes. It doesn't seem like he's trying to humiliate anyone. No. Um, which is good, but it's still he's still kind of spying on people. Right. All right, Emily. Well, I'm gonna check out some other people. Thank okay. you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations to you too. How do you guys feel? 
Weird. What is he like tapped into uh, security cameras? I don't know what everybody's so ha yeah, honestly, so happy about because I'm freaked out by this. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm honored though. Yeah. How does it feel? You won. It feels great, you know, because it's just. You know, singing is my passion. I love showering too. So to be able to combine them and make it something notable and, you know. Which do you think you're better at, showering or singing? I think, like, when, when I combine them is when I really shine. You know what I mean? I, I definitely think both, but, but hopefully singing. What do you like to sing in the show? Just anything that's in my head that day. Sometimes I like to write my own songs in the shower. You know, just make up tunes and whatever is going through my mind. It just relaxes me. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Do you do like scat? I know, yeah. Like, you know, you do a lot of scat in the shower? Yeah. Anything that involves my voice. Sometimes I even just like. Yeah. Talk in the shower. It's like a monologue. You know what I mean? Just like just get the day off of me. Hey, can I ask you a question, Arthur? Of course you can. Uh, so, did you expect to win this award? Uh, uh, no. Well, honestly, no. I did not expect to win. Now, was I surprised when it was announced that I had won it? Obviously not. Have you been told before? Yeah, Look, I, I had roommates in college, word gets around, younger brother, you know, it's, it's, it's really no surprise. This is the umpteenth time I've been told what, finally, officially, I have won an award for. So, it was a good night, all things considered. Do you think Oscar saw your penis? Oh, any number of ways. I'm not, I'm, not too, I'm not too shy about this kind of stuff. You know, the human body is a beautiful thing. Uh, could have been at the beach the gym uh, in the late at night sometimes you know. do you think you saw it like in full direction or not it's a good question it's a good question it's a very high likelihood that the answer is yes you know we live in the city there's really very little privacy when it comes to that kind of thing you know if I'm you know, if I if I got one popped, sometimes I'll walk around the house. I'll eat a bowl of cereal. It's the human body. It's beautiful. But he just so happened to think that mine was worth awarding a golden trophy. I, there's nothing I can deny about that. I'm not surprised. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. I hope it works well for you. Tonight. I hope, uh, yeah, we'll 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 see. We'll see. Maybe not inventing things just to keep things going. Like she was the worst one. Every single ass cut I watched, it would end with her getting attacked and killed. Hey Jared, what's an ass cat? It's an improv show. Why is it called? Why is it called ass cat? Ah, uh, because uh, that's what the uh, people who brought it to New York called it. Like that was their team. They called it ass cat. Plus years. Ago. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah. Now they call it like ass cat. You would. Cut, I, I suggest you cut all of this. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yeah, please cut all of this. If you guys want another hug, right here. I mean, if you're giving them away. Oh, oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. The secret is no exercise and bad dieting. <laughs> I hear that there's a little chocolate in here. Oh yeah? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> I mean there is. You just gotta like, you know. Crack it open. Just, yeah. Like a chocolate walnut. You know, like how you would open a beer thing. You know, I'm still waiting to see if we all die oh. here. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, it's probably like <laughs> you know, it's probably like in here. <laughs> you just gotta like, you know, suck it through like that. What if there's like a microchip in these and like he's tracking us or something? Oh, what? Yeah. Word? I never thought of that. I love you, man. I gotta move around. I gotta mingle. You know, you can't just stick to one. You gotta stick to all. Me too, actually. That's my entire MO as a... 
filmmaker here. I, I can't stay on one person too long. I think I've about hit my limit with you, sir. What? Can I get a handshake from you? Sure. I want to see what this is. I want to get it on camera, okay? That is pretty nice. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to do some uh, interviews over here if anybody wants to come for an interview. Um, anybody want to do an interview? Best spaghetti sauce. Nice. What's your secret? What's What do you do for your sauce? Marinara, Italian sausage, meatballs, um, generous helping of garlic, and chopped bread crusts. Took a while to figure out. Um, and honestly, I felt like I totally mangled my speech before. What I really wanted to say was thank you to everyone who I've ever known, for better or for worse. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be who I am, I wouldn't be where I am, and that's the fact. How many people have had your sauce? Not many, mostly family. So do you think family, like one one of your family members might be Oscar? Or? Could be. I... I feel like some ideas have been thrown around here, but it very well could be. Do you ever save your sauce in your fridge overnight? Do you think maybe you could have gotten in the house and like sampled it? Sometime? That makes sense. Okay, so what's your name? Adam. And what did you win? I won best urinal etiquette. Uh -huh. I think I lost the card, actually. No, I didn't lose the card. Best urinal etiquette. There's my name. It's like sociology, it's people skills. You just have to know what people want you to do and what people don't want you to do when you're at the urinal with them. So, like, people think it's about pissing. It's about, oh, controlling your stream. But no, that's, like, technique. You gotta know how to apply those techniques. I never drink water, ever. Only Gatorade, because it allows... There's less friction with Gatorade on the inside of your urethra, so it goes right through. And, um... You know, urethral sounding, if you stretch it out a little bit, you get a lot more piss going through. Can you describe that? Urethral sounding? It's like when you st stick something up your urethra, uh, and um, if you stick something large, it'll make the tube stretch out, and you just get a lot more piss going through there, help you a lot with urinal etiquette. That's probably why I lost out on best penis too, because my urethra is a little bit too large for my penis. Uh -huh. So I think other than that, I have a really good penis. Are there any droplets on the ground when you pee? No. No. I stay sometimes for hours to make sure I'm finished. Yeah. Do you squeeze it? Do you shake it? What's, what's your secret for getting the last drop out? Okay, so you start from here, and you just massage all the way out. Kind of like when you've got like a little bit of toothpaste left and you have to roll up the tube, it's just all the way down your body. So where do you start from to squeeze? Right here, bladder. Right around here. See, I usually just, I start from the tip. You start from the tip, you're pushing piss back up the tip. Uh, you see what I mean? And then that's, later it drips out. That's a rookie mistake. So right? you start, let me get this, you start from the stomach. Use the award. Use the award? Just to, so I get a visual. Oh, as my penis. Yeah. Okay, I'll point at my knee. And then after I go through here, you know, I just push it along. I just push it along, and then it all pours right out at once, kind of. And since I have such a big urethral circumference, it all just... Well, congratulations. Thank you. Why do you think she over there thought that you were Oscar? I have no idea. I don't even know how that started that I was Oscar. Um, do you think it's just your face? I guess so. I mean, because I said maybe it's Benicio Del Toro. I've gotten that comparison before. If I was Oscar, I probably had a very normal face and I'm very good at blending in. And um, I just choose somebody. And I'm probably usually out all the time. I see somebody. And I probably have resources that if I see somebody who does something that I think is worthy of an award, I have resources to find out who they are, their email, send it to them, and um, I know because of my reputation they'll probably come.
unfortunately, so I'm grateful that. He gave me that look, like, like a understanding look. I was like, oh, oh wow. I think that's him. I think it's Oscar. So I, I think that's him. Oh, he's over there. See, see how he's standing just there, like innocent and stuff, just like looking and observing. Say that again. He's just like looking, just like standing there and observing. It's just, it's just weird. Look, 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 look at him. Look at him. So, what was the award that you won again? I, I got best catching of a subway. Do you know when that might have been? I have no idea. I can only think of one time I caught the subway recently running to the G train which you're always running to the G train because it's always at the other end of the platform but then I have to wonder why how did he know or she were they watching uh, I don't know why everyone's having such a good time when obviously somebody's spying on everybody can I see your handwriting I have a pen and some paper oh my god I think here, the come over here and, and we can check that out <laughs> So that's my name. Pretty basic, I know. Um, but it actually requires a, lot, a steady hand, lots of patience, and um, I don't know. It's really fun to do, too. I sent Christmas cards out. So I think that maybe it's a friend of a friend like whoever I sent my Christmas card to might be their parent their friend their uncle someone saw it on a fridge or something um, and they they knew who I was and they figured it out they tracked me down in some way and um, I guess he's just been like following my my handwriting and I don't know anyone here so I think that it's random like I, I, I don't think I maybe I don't even know him you know like he's he's like maybe four degrees separ of separation or something I know he's been he's been compared to Santa Claus so it's interesting that it's a Christmas card that you're, <laughs> you're doing oh my god he, people have called him like the Santa Claus of like New York City and that he's always watching Watching and you know, seeing if you're naughty or nice or whatever. And yeah. apparently, you're very nice at handwriting. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, I've never actually performed my handwriting, so I was a bit nervous when you asked me, to be honest. Uh, but I promise, when I'm uh, when it's just me and I've got a lot of time, I can, I can do some really intense, elaborate stuff. How are you guys doing? We're good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of don't know what to expect. Kind of yeah, kind of <laughs> like curious. <laughs> Something else is gonna happen. Like yeah. is the show over? As far as I know, it's over. Um, I was just told to see how everyone's doing and record um, interviews with people and watch people mingle. Um, I wasn't told that there would be anything else. But yeah. we still have a theory. <laughs> I just, we want, you have a theory. What's your theory? <laughs> we just feel like there's like I don't know, good or bad. We feel like something else is gonna happen. Yeah. Like we didn't. Oscar didn't make an appearance. Like nothing weird happened. I feel like there should be something. All right, so I am here with best smile winner, Savannah. Uh, that is a, a winning smile, literally and figuratively. Um, are you are you very happy? <laughs> Always so happy. That's why I'm always smiling. Oh, okay. Can we see that smile again? It is very good, I have to admit. How has this changed your life? You know, it's uh, it's changed my life. I, I'm sorry, I just noticed what a defined ass that this guy has. And, um, it is quite defined. It's truly a perfectly sculpted golden ass. Is kind of life changing in a way because it's not going unnoticed um, and unappreciated. Which... Do you think a smile can change people's day? 100%. 100%. There's that story about that guy who I read a couple years ago. It still stays with me. And he, he um, stands at 
the entrance of a bridge that is famous um, for people jumping off it and he smiles at people when they pass and sometimes that is the one thing that separates someone from doing it and not because they're just a little more aware of the kindness in the world and so just in case there's anyone yeah. suicidal at home watching let's see the smile one last time don't kill yourself Congratulations to you both. Uh, you were expecting this? You weren't expecting this? I was not expecting this. I was uh, expecting something along the lines of fitness, wellness, which I guess this makes sense. Um, I feel like this is the most iconic award that you could win it's tonight. Pretty, I think it's pretty good. I think we won the award show. I, I'm glad I dressed for the occasion. I'm uh, really grateful to my mother for pushing me out of her beautiful vagina and giving me this iconic vagina and um, thank you Oscar for somehow knowing this uh, I'm not sure if he knew this from just my deep activism of vaginas or if he may have stumbled upon the greatness of this one uh, so I have a lot of questions and I'm thinking back to all my vaginas experiences right now to see how I want this but I do believe that I deserve this and I'm, it is a great honor this is the first award I've ever won. Um, it's a good first. And I, I, I think so. I love it. Thank you. There were talk uh, amongst the other uh, award winners that we should get together and see how that works out. It would only make sense. I think so. I think and it's a very logical conclusion. I was thinking that. Oh, yeah. Like it's someone that we all some, in some way you can know. But it also be like... Like, I feel like a lot of people are saying this too, that it's like um, a group of people. Oh, you know, oh I didn't like think of that. You did, you did, I feel like more people have been saying it. That's why really? I Yeah, because it's like, I don't know. We, like, I feel like we've been trying to find like an obvious connection, but you just can't. I'm unfamiliar. An ollie is, it's like when you jump on the skateboard, right? Yeah, pretty much. Do you think anybody could do an ollie? Do you, do you think they could work at it? Uh, if you're old, probably not, but if you're young, for sure, you can definitely ollie. You just gotta pop the tail, bend your knees, and then also videotaping yourself to see what you're doing wrong. How long have you been skateboarding? You know, I took a break for like 15 years in between, and then I got it back. Can I see the motion of an ollie real quick? Like me physically like your, jumping? Your feet. But you want to keep your foot like kind of like, because you don't want your nose to tank. See? And pop with your toe. Cool. I won best babysitter. And do you feel you deserve that one? Um, honestly, yeah. I feel like I really, I did a lot of babysitting. I feel like I'm a good babysitter. I'm a little bit creeped out by getting the award, to be honest. Because I feel like when I'm babysitting, I don't expect someone else to be watching me. And that was one of my biggest fears. Yeah, so it's I almost feel, like a horror movie. I right? feel like a horror movie where you answer the phone and it's like, where are the children? And then you answer the other phone and it's like, I'm in the house. <laughs> so I'm not excited to babysit again because now I'm going to have all these new fears of people watching me, Oscar, wherever he or she may be. Do you um, feel more excited or scared right now? I'm a little bit scared, I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping to be something like in the public eye that isn't, you know, creepy or where I feel watched, but I just feel more watched and I never thought about that before. Do you think Oscar might be one of the little kids you babysit? I was thinking about it, but I feel like that'd be really hard to pull off. They're all under the age of 12. Or they kids were. are pretty savvy these days with the computers. It's true. They, they're pretty, they're good on their phones. They've had phones since they were little, so I don't know. I don't feel good about answering that question with best penis and best vagina in the running as well. <laughs> I think maybe, a, yeah, I hope cool. it's not a kid. Maybe it's one of the parents. Maybe it's one of the parents. Maybe someone just really like loved me so much and they wanted to give me an award, but yeah. this is their I know people have tried to hobbies. like piece it together who he is. Like yeah. after these events they'll like be like, Alright, well I have these relatives, do any you know, let's see if there's any crossovers. Yeah, we were trying to do Nobody's that. Nobody's been able to do it. It's, no, we can't find any connections of who like especially, you know, there's some people who are maybe a little bit more obvious, like singing in the shower it has to be someone who was able to hear you in the shower yeah you would think right? you would think Unless but then they put like a bug or something to like record or I don't know I don't know there's some something creepy is going on I don't even know if Oscar's here I bet like this all seems very surveillance-esque so I feel like there's probably just surveillance everywhere what do you think uh, the secret is to babysitting the secret to babysitting hmm 
It's a good question. I think knowing how to be fun, but still get the kids to listen to you. So like not trying to act like an adult or like tell them what to do, but making the rules you create fun. So I create a lot of games. <laughs> do I look at you or the camera? You can look at me. Okay. Um, so best breath. Yeah. Is that a surprise? Is that... Um... You really have no sense of smell? Okay, I ha I can smell stuff. I have a sense of smell. It's like my whole life has been like very weak. And you know how when, one's, uh, when one sense is like weak, the other one's like stronger? Mm -hmm. So I have really good eyesight. So I'm like, that maybe that's how it balances out. But yeah, weak sense of smell, paranoid about it. Um, I guess it's a surprise because I, I wouldn't know. How do you think Oscar smelled your breath? Okay, that's the thing. It's like, first of all, creepy, right? How does he know? But also, how does he qualify best breath? Like, does it smell good or is it neutral? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. We have kind of a theory that he has like a group of people that maybe nominates people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got, we're like, okay, we're trying to make a connection of who it is. And we don't think it's like one person. We think it's like a group that's pretending to be Oscar. Do you use mints? Do you chew gum? Do you... I... What do you go for as far as your breath? Okay, here's my whole thing. So it starts, first boyfriend, high school, he was like, you should like brush your teeth more often. And that was just like trauma, scarred, stay in my life. So I'm like, before I leave the house, brush my teeth, stay hydrated. Gum and mints, yeah, but I feel like it's more about like keeping it neutral, not insanely minty fresh. Also, it's kind of suspicious, you know, when someone's really minty. <laughs> I don't know. Can the people at home smell your breath real quick? Can you, uh... Okay. Yours is probably See, I'm flattered, creepiest. but I'm, I'm worried. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's the creepiest and best vagina. Right. That's yeah. concerning. She seems proud of... What's interesting about the best penis and best vagina award, though, is that it seems like they both are people who would be proud of it, whereas other people might be embarrassed. No, when I had the best vagina, I was like, what am I going to say if it's me? I'm so glad it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she was like, she loved it, and it was part right. of her. Yeah. It's like all knowing, yeah. um, yeah. yeah. very big brother. That's, that's it just makes me feel like maybe he understands things about people's personalities, not just watches what they do, you know? Right, like she has had like interactions with them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Or just has watched for a long time. Maybe you're someone like in our phone. Oh, you know, I always wow. look at my phone camera and I feel like someone's watching. They also can listen oh my gosh, to you. Yeah. Like they do take audio from your phone. I know, phone. because I'll be like, gee, I want a blue dress. And then I'll like open TikTok and it'll be and like, it's gonna a, be blue a blue dress. dress. Blue dress. Yeah. Like that's not a coincidence. It's it so could creepy just be a TikTok. It's TikTok. <laughs> Yeah, smelling? <laughs> Not to worry about, but like smell like. Whoa. Well, that's like the one thing. That's yeah, yours, yours is the creepiest one. I think. Me? No. <laughs> Showering? <laughs> well, maybe maybe Oscar heard me singing through my phone. Yeah, right. that's, that's, like, that's, really good. that's actually a really so good theory. Good. I like but that. I, I am unsure about yours. You're the exception. Like, how does he know what your breath smells like? Well, you guys are freaking me out. So I was like, it's like this technology. You order like a lot of like. Do people talk about? Oh wait, one. Oh, sh do you like something order? so weird? A while ago, I was in an Airbnb, and this um, you know, quip, it's like toothpaste and like yeah. cash. It came to me, and I did not order it. You stopped your life. I'm not even kidding. Wait, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought it, that's too crazy. No, like, wait, what if it's no, 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 no. He like, he like, it's the opposite. He made me have good breath. You were that this would be accurate. Whoa. He like forced me to have it. Are you me? Oh no. That is actually so. That's so Wait, who got you in your singing? Who got you in your singing? Just I was like, exactly. What kind of things do you sing in the shower? Like rock and roll. Oh, yeah? Just any song that's in my mind. Yeah. What do you mean? What if it's stuff that's set up for us? Like, like scat music? Yeah, I mean. Scat? Yeah. Yeah, anything. I like to sing anything. Or like even making up my own song. Very creepy. So you were, you were kind of a. We thought you might be a no-show, but you, oh, wow. you were a little bit late. Yes. Um, what, what, what apology did you make during the last year that you think you might have won for? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, honestly, I make like a lot of apologies, and so it's like hard to say. But like in general, an apology is going to be personal on some level. So like it's 
someone I know. I you think, think it? You think it's someone? You know? I do. I couldn't give you like a name. I couldn't give you like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I couldn't give you like five potential names of like. Because like my feeling is that Oscar is like an alias and is definitely like not um, necessarily male or female, but like. If just, you were Oscar, would you tell me? Um. Yeah, I think I would. You would? Yeah, because I feel like I'd be proud to be Oscar. Okay. So I think I'd like to brag about that. Have you been looking for clues? Maybe there's some clues? Um, Do you care about clues? I, I don't know. Like, I guess, like, I should be more proactive. Like, I, this could be a clue. You think that might be a clue? Yeah. A little basics? Congratulations uh, on well, the award. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I, 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 there were a lot of awards tonight, but, like, this one feels really special. But can, can you tell me anything? Like, do you know? I don't know anything. I got an email just like anybody else. Like, he just, this is the first time it's ever been documented. Like, one of the okay. events. Usually they go on, there's no documentation. Oh, whatsoever. wow. Yeah, I don't know how much you know about this, but he's never been documented. No media for allowed? Some, for some reason, he picked yeah. me to, as, to be the first person to document it. Wow. And um, that's just what me and Chloe have been doing. Yeah. I don't know anything. People think I know more because I'm documenting it, but I don't, I don't know anything. Okay, well, congratulations on that. Yeah. Hopefully the documentary is good. Um, well, it will be good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it will be good. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking. Thanks. And, um... I'm sorry for being late. No, it's fine. I, you don't have to apologize to me. I'm apologizing in case Oscar's watching this at some point. <laughs> I'm sure he will watch this video. <laughs> um, but, but thank you. Hi, can I talk to you about cat sitting real quick? Oh, sure. Look at this. What's that? Well, yeah, I've been looking around here. Like, I've been trying to see if there's like clues or anything. There's like all these That seems like around. a clue. It could be. Have you been looking around for clues to try and figure out who Oscar might be? Well, I was telling Chloe I think there might be a camera on the disco. I was looking at that earlier. Yeah, it's a little suspicious, right? So, what's the secret to cat sitting? Uh, oh, making sure the cats don't die. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who do you think Oscar is? What's your, what's your theory? Um, I really don't know. I mean, it might be... One of these people? Yeah. I think it might be the middle. The middle. Yeah, right? Because they're all... They're on either side of him, and he is... These could be, like, red hair. He's a devilish grin. Yeah, these could be fake clues to come for us. No, now that you say... I definitely, it's him, for okay. sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Positive, yeah. Right in the middle? Yeah. How much do you make in the cat sitter? Um... I'm, I mean, if that's comparison. Yeah. I mean, it's... Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Like couple hundred dollars a month and you're good on that <laughs> no <laughs> okay. you know Look, I, 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 just, I came to your, I just received an email about this, and I just uh, kind of received it because, you know, uh, it's uh, like, well, it's like uh, something, I just, uh, it's just some kind of like a party, and I just, uh, I, I just, I, I just, I just attended, and I just thought it was going to be something really special, but... I don't know what kind of a party is this, but I'm just a little confused, you know? It's just kind of weird, but at least, um, at least I'm making new friends and I'm... It's a party and we're having a good time and I'm meeting new friends and everybody's just chilling and relaxing. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> It's like the flash was stupid, but like in a funny way. It's like the only way I can describe it. So, how are you guys feeling? Feeling good. Feeling uh, good. I feel really, um, really, really chill. Yeah, I like to hang out with new friends that I meet and just having a good talk and have a good time in this, in this good party. Does it matter? What? Does you can look at me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, what did you win the award for? Best kept talk. This award meant a lot of me, and I want to like show all my friends and like tell everyone because this.
this is not something I take lightly. Can you give a pep talk to the people at home? Just look into the camera and just give them a nice little pep talk? Just like my family people at home? Well, just anybody who's watching. Oh, so it's spring now. The, the sun is setting later, and we're going to have a great time this year. You know, everyone's going to get what you've been hoping for, wishing for. You're going to have nice changes in your life. And the thing you're, like, nervous about, maybe a big interview or, like, a big project you're about to work on, it's, it's going to be great. And you're going to be great. You can be confident in yourself, and you're going to know exactly what to do. And just trust yourself, and everything's going to work out perfectly, and I believe in you. Got an award for best jaywalk. What's the secret to a good jaywalk? The secret to a good jaywalk, I think, is a confident stride. You can't be, you can't be hesitant. You start to look like an idiot. People will start to notice you. I mean, you're already doing something that requires you to be a pretty cool person, and so I think you really have to own that. And uh, I think a large stride works best. Mm -hmm. You uh, you ideally want to cover as much ground as possible in case there are cars that will come. Are you fast with it? I am generally pretty fast, yeah. How many steps do you think you could do? I would say about five to seven is a perfect amount for a New York City jaywalk. Can I you show me a jaywalk real quick? Sure, yeah. You see there's no cars coming, and you want to take a good confident stride. Usually you want to have a good outfit on. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You won for best hug, I believe. Yes, yes I did. I got my victory card right here. Best hug, my name in it. What's the secret to a good hug? Well, the secret to a good hug, by the way, the secret to a good hug is, um, well, first, conviction. You have to believe it. And two, you have to make sure they believe it. And three, it's all about authenticity. Right? Can I have a hug from you? Oh, absolutely, man. Come here. I have to admit, I think Oscar's onto something. Yes, I'm pretty sure I hugged Oscar before, but I also hug everyone, so I have no idea. Who I hugged, I earned this. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Also, I'd like to thank, you know, God gave me this body that's perfect for hugging. It is a good hugger's body. Right? It's all about the marshmallow padding right here. Because mm -hmm. it makes people feel safe and secure yes. in the hug. Yes. And that's a big part of it. I guess I'm just naturally born as a hugger. How do you feel about your award? I'm feeling very confused. How so? I, I think that everybody here is pretty confused. Uh, we were going to uh, actually organize a counter Oscar party. A counter Oscar? Yeah. Uh, we feel like it doesn't really represent us, so we were going to do something that really uh, based off of tonight. Based off of tonight, where we got to know each other better. We just feel like these awards are not representative of who we are. So. Oh wow! So so you don't feel happy with your award? No. Wow! This is you're the first person I've heard say this so far. Well, I'm the first honest person. Oh, so other people are telling you they're not happy with their. No, no. Well, yeah, because um, I mean, I I just think that they're they're better awards uh, for each of us. What would you call the party? Because another thing we were thinking is maybe Oscar is a woman because only a powerful woman could organize this. You know, I don't think a guy would be able to. And it would be so thoughtful to uh, to actually. It's sweet. Yeah. So the Scarlet. The Scarlet. What did you say you would call it? The Scarlet. The Scarlet. Yeah. So, do you think you'll wait until next year? Do you think you'll? I think we'll do it tonight. Yeah. Tonight? We do it tonight? Like now? We have right the now? awards. We just don't have a pet. <laughs> That's well, we the only thing we're missing. We have such a good plan. We just don't have a pet. <laughs> Let's change the world now. Because it's like, it's like, yeah, I have like great breath, but like, is that all of me? Exactly. Dude, I don't think that's, that's what, you what I'm saying. saying. Oh, what yeah. if he actually has a sex trafficking ring like I thought he did? What? My you thought he had a so sex trafficking ring? Well, when I first got the email, I thought that it was like some scam or like I was going to end up in some sex trafficking ring and like something. You're freaking <laughs> Yeah, but I, are you not? <laughs> I know, we have to do something. We can't just like go home. We're making it 
better. We're like yeah. solving the problems. Right. 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 So we're, we're not anonymous. We're a group of women. Okay, wait. Hi, babe. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> so we won. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm proud of us, aren't you? I'm proud. I, there's an interesting development going on over there. What's going on? Those women have decided to start a counter Oscar movement called the Scarlets. The Scarlets? And they're trying to figure out what awards to give to everybody because they feel like the awards didn't suit everyone well enough. They didn't describe enough who these people are. So it's very interesting. I think you should maybe check it out. Okay, I'll take it. I've gotten a lot of footage of it, but I... Um, I'll check it out. Yeah, who knows what they're doing. It's very interesting, but it's several women. Hey, smile girl. Smile. Hi, what's your name? Savannah. Savannah. Oh, we, we don't need to know for any reason. We were just like, <laughs> <laughs> you do have a good smile. <laughs> yeah, show it up, girl. <laughs> the money maker. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like my footage, Jared? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, like, that's more like, uh, uh, yeah, get right in there. Cut the cheese? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Oscar's brought out an interesting Please side don't pull these out of my head, Oscar, yeah. please. While you're sleeping, maybe? Maybe while I'm sleeping. We're turning this Oscar party into a Scarlet party. Like what? Scarlet party. It's Oscar, but we're girls and we're powerful and we're not anonymous and we're kind. Yes, we're upfront about it. Are you going to be giving out awards? Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to be right then. Get it quick enough. When do you think you'll be ready to do that? Um, we have one. How many people are here? Do you know? Two. I think like maybe 19 or okay. So we have seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. So we need, because like, like nine. Ours, yeah, we need like nine more. Okay, well, okay. when you guys are ready to do it, just let me know. Okay, yeah. Um, we might need your, do you, because you have footage of all, like, the names, right? Mm -hmm. We might need your help with some of the names. Okay. There's an awesome video on YouTube where you can see them. Uh, are you aware that they're, they're doing, like, an alternate Oscar thing now? They're, these girls have gotten together, and they're coming up with their own little Oscar thing? No. They're going to be giving out their own awards. Sweet. I think we just need to push boundaries here. How's it coming along? No, well, it's actually way more complicated. Because yeah. we want to be like accurate, but we don't want to be mean. For example, like the guy who won best handshake. He gave me a handshake and it was really bad. It was not good. So I was saying it'd be funny to be like worst handshake. Do you think he was giving you like a bad handshake, like ironically? No, because I tried it too. It was <laughs> and all I, I said was like, okay. Yeah. And he was, I don't know. And like, but now we're just, we're, we wanted to be nice at first. Then we yes. said maybe we could be mean. Mm -hmm. And then we went to maybe being funny. But now we're back to being kind. We're not, well, you yeah. should probably do it soon before we have to get out of here. Right? That's so easy to, for you to say. This is hard. Like I swear, had a, a year to like. And now, 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 like, now, like discussing this, yeah. we're thinking like, okay, maybe Oscar did. Do like maybe this job. rebellion is. It's maybe hard, right? maybe it was harder yeah. than. I think we're validating Oscar a little yeah, bit in this process, which is very frustrating. Oh, no. We should yeah. give Oscar an award. We should oh. give Oscar an award. Oh. And well, maybe they'll come up and get it. I have my suspicions about this guy over here, honestly. He okay. seems like a little too confident being here. I, I feel like you might know something that, you know, we don't know. I only know what everybody else knows. Okay. You know, uh, nobody tells me anything, really. But you've been following this for a while, this whole Oscar phenomenon? In intimate, intimately. I mean, it, it ties into the, you know, the history of performance art in America and uh, just incredible guerrilla marketing um, there's a lot of lessons that can be learned from these these Oscar moments yeah, I think uh, something's happening over here sorry okay, hold on. Uh, all right. hi guys if you could take a seat before you leave I know we're kind of nearing the end here um, we are the Scarlets and I know some of you guys tonight were happy with your awards some not so happy so we've decided 
to make our own that might be a little more reflective of you all as people and after getting creepy. to know all of you. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, we thought we could just come together, form an alliance, and just do, do our own thing. Because if Oscar doesn't want to reveal himself, well, we will reveal ourselves. We're here. Mm -hmm. For Jared, we have most ethical. Man has not bought anything from Amazon ever. <laughs> Sorry, we, we don't we don't have a trophy or anything though. So but you have one. You could do a bow. All right, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, you good. Oh, do you want to go next? Uh, for Chloe, we have most inquisitive. You oh asked the best questions, mm -hmm. and we wanted uh, to recognize you for yes. it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is this is so exciting. I, I wasn't expecting this. Well deserved. I, I was just doing what I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing it very well. Are you going, and we're very thankful. Anything? We're just going to give you a it round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the mail. It's in the mail. Well, it's in the mail. In the mail. Oh, this one means a lot to me. Oh. For Anna. Yes. We have beautiful inside and out. Not just your vagina. Exactly. <laughs> All of you. So we have Savannah, most supportive. Whoa! <laughs> All right. For John, we have most confident. Oh. Yep. <laughs> And most likely to be Oscar. <laughs> oh, that was Richard. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Um, for Jason, we have most creative. Woo! Woo! I'm very creative. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Oh, sorry. You're so funny with the order. Um, for Valentino, what? what? <laughs> Jack of all trades. It's been a long time. It was probably, you know, when you're trying to write. No, she wrote Jack of Superfish. Shit, when you're trying to write and someone says a word. That's why I get it. We were talking about it. We were like, don't be too. Don't say that. Superficial. Hard life. Take it away. Are you not? It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. Wait, we're not. Like you have to read it. Um, for for Cody, we have most helpful. Oh. He played a big part in these awards, actually. Thank you. He he helped us get all of the you know information we were lacking. Um and. Okay. So. What did you write? <laughs> Jack, biggest green thumb. Yeah. 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 Should we do this one now? Did we not go to a garden together? Oh, no, I thought we were last. No, okay. That's yeah. Biggest green thumb. What did you write? The next we have Walter. Walter, best personal hygiene. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, that's <laughs> your second award. That's that a trophy. <laughs> Biggest thief. So you can, you can have it. <laughs> that ended there. Adam, we have child at heart. Yeah. Aww. Elizabeth, we have most uplifting. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, should I take the second trophy? No. Oh, no. That's Sorry. That's right. <laughs> For Ian, we have gentlest soul. Okay. 
Ashley, most grateful. Thank you. For Gina, we have most fashionable and most fashionably late. <laughs> Mike, Mike, best comedic timing. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind, I'll give it back. <laughs> More meaningful. All right. Emily, most chill. Dude, you seem chill? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. Well, I don't. Oh, there's still watching. All right. Okay, so for Piper, we have most. Oh, yeah. Natural blonde. We really wanted these to not be superficial mm -hmm. or materialistic, so we went mm -hmm. for what's inside. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have more paper, read. so. What? Sorry, I just had to write on my hand. Okay. Wait, is it this way? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what? English. <laughs> <laughs> They're all smeared. <laughs> oh, for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Most okay. welcoming presents. presents. So oh, much I know your mom's outspoken. Oh, oh yeah, she this started the revolution. Yeah, to you know what I mean. So she's the most outspoken. Mm -hmm. Thank and you so much. Yeah. Most witty. <laughs> most witty, right here. So yeah, thank you all for being at our ceremony. It means a lot that you came here. Um, I have a question. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with the name? Yeah. How do you come like up with the Scarlet. name? Like the Scarlet. I just, just like well, just we thought like, Oscar, Scarlet. Okay, that's what I guess. Yeah. So now I'm. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful name. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and for Oscar, we have an award oh, for yeah. Oscar. Yes, we do. Um, wherever he is. No, if, <laughs> if he wants to just <laughs> come up. And if he wants his award, he could grab his award. He yes, could to come up here. Yes. What was his award again? I think he has to grab it. Does right. he have to grab it before Oscar, we come up and we'll tell you. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, Oscar. Okay, I guess we'll never it's know. It's the award for... <laughs> yes, uh, The creepiest, most organized person we know. Yeah. Or don't. Oscar. Or don't know. Oscar, come, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Oscar, 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 Oscar. I know you're watching. I know you want it. Wait, yeah, look, the lights are flickering. Oh my god. What? Is that him? Yeah. Wait, why why are you the lights? Behind there? Where? Where? You're creeping me out. Just kidding. I'm joking. Okay, Oscar, if you want it. This is here. Wait, why is he getting up? Why are people <laughs> it's hungry for some raspberry. It's a fig bar. No, no, no. It's, it's a trophy, not a fig bar. You get a trophy. What? Come on. What? No, I'm not Oscar. I want a oh. fig bar. <laughs> I'm telling well, you, Sam. Thank mm. you all for being here. Interesting hard. timing. It's a great night. The exits are. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Yay! Thank you for coming. Thank you. And you guys are really cool. We love meeting you all. Right. Yes. And, yep. Okay. Donations. And thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Scarlet. Thank you, Thank you. Scarlet. Thank you, Scarlet. Thank you, Scarlet. Scarlet's have spoken. Whose trophy is this? That's Oscar. Uh, That's Oscar, of course. Did he look like any of the guys in the picture over there? He did. Really? Yeah. Which one? The left, the, right, or middle? The middle. The middle guy. He was like the middle guy, yeah. He was just there a second ago. I don't know where he went, but I could have sworn I saw him. Oh my gosh. 
This is... I know, I hope that gave you chills. It did. I, I can't tell if it's because of the draft of walking close to the door or if, like, I'm actually... I think it's that I've actually got chills because, like, my nips are hard, everything. Yep. I think... Oh my gosh. A lot of people will never believe me that I saw him. I saw the most magnificent silhouette of a man that I had ever seen that leads me to believe that he was here. He was with us. He was watching us. He saw us. God! Cody, he thinks he just saw Oscar. He's at the door, he saw him in. I saw a silhouette of a man. He said it looked like the guy, the middle guy in the picture. In the picture that they saw over there? Yes. No, no one seems to care. What? Hold on. <laughs> it's very blown out. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it in focus. I feel like Oscar is doing something to my camera right now. So that that's so creepy. Because I literally. Hold on. Let me. There we go. Hi, Scarlett. I don't like what you did, Oscar. Wait. Do we? I mean, we can't. Guys, like, he, no, knows, we're not gonna he knows so much about us, though. Yeah, but we're not going to say sorry for it. No, but, like, we didn't do anything All wrong. All these are text We just not. added no, more no, awards. No, like a... Yeah, but you dissed his awards, though. Yeah. He literally has all of our emails. Obviously, he has our phone number. Thing to ask, yeah. Our school emails. That's, like, connected to our numbers. I know mine is yeah, for sure. Yeah, mine too. Fucking A! Maybe that was him! Oh, God. Should I delete? Yeah. You think you figured something out? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And right when the movie ended, the guy sitting next to me I stood up, he got up, grabbed me with both arms, and dragged me back down to his seat and gave me a big hug and, like, wouldn't let me go. And maybe that sleepy drunk guy was actually Oscar all along. Oscar just texted us. Wait, hold on. It's Oscar from Oscar. I got no text. I'm literally freaking out right now. Like, this Texas isn't even funny. Yeah, let, me see, let me see. So he has all of our numbers and he's in the room. No shit. Or at least he's watching. <laughs> That's not even funny. I'm gonna like Are you that. serious? You just all just got this? Yes. Did you guys do this yourselves? Or? Yeah, it's not like you guys just spent the last five minutes exchanging numbers. <laughs> Wait, you Oscar? Like, oh, okay, Did you hear? Wait, yeah. did you hear us? Did you hear Somebody our numbers? The whole, the whole room could have heard. Wait, are you guys I knew we shouldn't have done what we did. Like, I feel like even if this is a joke, like, Do you think like, he's upset like, that you did your own thing? Yeah, I was I saying, like, maybe it's not the right thing to do. You think it's bullshit, right? I think it's all bullshit. I think these girls are full of shit. There's something fishy is going on. Do you think they're trying to, like, get attention? They're hijacking Oscar's party. I'm kind of freaked out. Okay. But it's okay. You gonna be all right? I think we're all gonna walk to the train together. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Right here. Let me see. I don't know. Is anybody out there? No. no. That's funny. Okay. What happened? I don't know. The other guy left. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Jared? I think so. Jared, yeah. Jared. The skate master. I don't even want to be here anymore. Uh-oh. A dramatic exit. Sounds like something Oscar would say. Uh, what? No! No! I think you're mad that you've just been exposed. What? No! No! I am not goddamn Oscar, okay? I If I take off my glasses, I'm still me, you know? <laughs> you know about Undercover boss. That's exactly what I It's like, oh my god, it's you. Oh, okay. it's a witch hunt. Yeah. I Wait, mean, put their phones the in the witch. Everyone, give us your phones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> phones in the center of the room. And your purses. Now. And your wallets. Put it in the bucket. You still think they're full of shit? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think more, it's like I'm more sure than ever. Are they like Instagram girls? Or they're they're clout chasing. Yeah. It's a classic, classic example of clout chasing. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him on speakerphone. Call him on 
Yes, 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 yes. Is it an iPhone? So you're calling Oh, it's raining. Guys, it's raining. Oh Guys, shut up. Oh my God. Hi, Oscar? Oh. <laughs> Put it on speaker if it burns. Oscar? Yeah, go ahead. <gasps> so it's it's all of us at the party. We were, um... What, what do I say? Who, where are you? Yeah, where, where are, are you? you? I'm, I'm... I got caught up. The train's really delayed. Take a bottle of wine. Oscar? Wait, there's another person with him. Holy shit. That, that was like a female sense. voice. Yes. Who is that? That's why Oscar can watch everybody. Right? Okay. Is that he has a team? Okay. Yeah, it's not just is one there, Oscar. Is there security cameras around here? Oh my gosh, is Oscar watching us right now? Maybe. Guys, I'm freaked out. I'm literally good. Oscar, he's coming. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang up. What? Why would sorry. you call? No. Oh, sorry. No, I'm texting my mom. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. I have, she, that she, she, well, she lives in Brooklyn, so I'm just gonna stay with her for the night. Like it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like rather than. Like that guy literally just texted us that like we're gonna pay. Like it's not even a joke. Like that's creepy. It's weird that there's a woman like do you, like with him. Yeah. We said that it might be a group of people. Yeah. And we thought Oscar was a woman first. Okay. Right. Uh, it might still be a woman. But there was a man's voice and a woman's voice. And the man's voice. Maybe they're yeah. together. Yeah, exactly. I think there's like a Maybe team. it's like a, like a, a team or a couple. Sure. You guys realize Jared's still gone, right? Yeah. <gasps> it sounded like a oh, familiar right. voice. Wait. Sure. And he, I just forgot his name. Where is way. Jared? It sounded like he was outside, right? I think he's Allie. acting really suspicious, you know? Holy shit. Yeah. He's still here? Yeah. No, no I guys. Do you see him out there? No. Oscar! I'm literally throwing out my phone. Why am I holding this? No. There's nobody out there. I didn't even hear him leave. He definitely left, and earlier he was pretending that he saw somebody out there. Oh my god, I thought... He moved the curtain, I thought it was like Oscar yeah. coming through the window. <laughs> I'm, I'm so like, jealous right, right now. Right now. Yeah. Jared! He is a little... What's up? You're in a car. Wait, is it... Are you with the woman? I'm not just in a car. I'm outside. <gasps> Wait, hold on. I'm confused how you saw Oscar. He was here the whole time. But how did you know that it was Oscar that you saw? Oh, it's a picture. I saw a silhouette. Okay, so you saw a silhouette in New York City and suddenly you know that it's Oscar, so you follow him into the night. How does that work? It didn't work out very good because I couldn't... I couldn't Turn keep track of it. Yeah, I, l I lowered it. It didn't Why work did out very back? good. Yeah. Why did I come back? I thought you left. left. I, and then I lost him. I What's tried to chase him And down then you came us. back? Yeah, I came back to let you guys know. What does he look like? That doesn't make any sense because how would he know that a random silhouette is the silhouette we're looking I know what I saw. Jared, let's get this straight because when you were talking to me earlier, Where is he? You saw <laughs> Where is he? Outside, <laughs> and you said it looked like the man in the middle of the picture. Wait, where is he? You know, where are you going? I'm looking. Where are you going? Go look for him. Independent well, search. Good idea. He's yeah. probably not there now. I mean, I'm, he's probably just circling the block. I feel like he's not doing that. Also, you left when the phone was answered and then came back after the phone. That's ended. really That's true. And you left like a while ago. He was away. Yeah, and the text came while you were away, too. What text? Uh, you seem like you know. <laughs> Me? Yeah. You know what? I don't get it. Why is everybody all just going after <laughs> me? Text. Can we see your phone? Show me your Show us your phone. I mean, you're looking at it right I now. I mean, go to your message. Whoa, now. hey. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 is it a bunch of random numbers in there? No. If anything, he was. What are you doing? But if you call that number Fishing. now, it brings there. That's a really good point. Things are just getting a little bit crazy around here. I got comfortable in case I have to get the fuck out of here. It's freezing. Yeah, I think that's kind of scary. So. Can you see the tundra? Oh, I ever asked.
Thank you for the new After all, we made a bunch of we met a bunch of awesome babe, we're, people. Babe, we're wrapped. We're good. Baby, I feel like I just got cut in half today. No way. But you told me that this pain is good and necessary to grow. And you left me to do the math. It took me days. But you told me this was just a phase. Okay, okay. So my eyes are vacant and cold And I've been dreaming so long That I lost sight of my goals And now I'm split in two And twisted down the middle There's something very, very deep inside you That's been begging you to let me know That the stormy cloud that's hovering above me Is growing out of control cracks and breaks and tomorrow is a sinister flake when it comes too late throw both of my hands away sometimes it seems that these invertebrate schemes are both the ends and the means to this unspeakable Baby, I feel like I just got cut.